Thank you for tuning in to a scenic legislative personality profile. We are very fortunate today to be joined by the Democratic Caucus leader, Representative Robert Reeves. Thanks, Thanks for having me, Flint. Appreciate it. Well, my background is originally from Lee County, grew up there, came back home to prosecute, uh, then started private practice there. And what got me into the General Assembly was everybody else. We had our particular representative resign midterm. And so there was an opening and of course it was an appointment. I had four people reach out to me within an hour of the uh, resignation, two Democrats, two Republicans. And they really felt that I should consider pursuing it. So by popular demand, you got a point. <laughs> Uh, what do you say has been the highlight of your legislative service so far? Overall, it's really been the constituent services and helping people. It's less about you making something happen and more about being able to connect people with the services that they need. And of course, getting bills passed. Um, that's always been good. The bill that I've probably been happiest with, the um, DOT bill, that allows people to keep driving if they've been suspended for having any kind of fines or something like mm -hmm. that. And, and that meant a lot to me because it, it is something, if you're in a big city, this isn't a big deal. You've got Lyft right. and all that kind of stuff. If you go somewhere like me, I live in Golston. Uh, there's yeah. no such thing as being able to get Lyft or anybody else. It was really good to be able to get that through and give people an opportunity to get on the road and work. I want to continue to work on, uh, especially being the son of a state employee, a retired state employee, is obviously we got to get those raises in place. I mean, it's been, you know, we you got some sections of state employees that have been years since they've gotten any kind of raise. Uh, making sure that we've got security with the health insurance plan. If you've never been without health insurance, you, you don't understand how serious that is. And I don't want state employees either going forward or retired state employees to not have that ability. Um, to make sure that we support the retirement plan. Being a state employee is public service. And I don't think we always think of it as public service, but it really is. Uh, when I've been able to talk to DOT liaisons and workers and stuff like that, you know, to help people with things that they, they can't do their, on their own. And, and you can't get that in the private world because you'll hear sometimes people talk about, well, we need to privatize this. But you, you can't get that. You do not get the same level of service that you're going to get for state employees. And so I want to make sure we continue to invest in that. What advice would you give to state employees and retirees about contacting their representatives? One thing is contact your particular representative. I think that is incredibly important. I think we don't do enough of that. When I can look at an email and I know that somebody sat down and really thought this through and said, this is my personal story and why I need your help on this. But I think everybody that I know of really wants to hear from folks back home. And so really reach out. you got to vote and identify people who actually represent things that you are interested in. And you've also got to make sure that along with voting, that you're active about making other people understand how important your issues are. Because I think, again, you know, if one person comes in and they've got an issue, that's one thing. But if suddenly everybody knows, hey, this is a big deal and something we've got to pay attention to, then I think it makes it easier to say, this is why I've taken this position and this is why I support folks on this issue. I want to thank you for coming in, taking Thanks for time having with me. us. Definitely. And it's been a pleasure and it's always a pleasure to speak with you, know that your door is open to us. And we thank you for all you do. Always is, always will be, man. I appreciate it. All right.